Hello guys, it is Monday again. Um, I went to school today, it was a pretty good day and everything, and it was good. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I mean, there's always work, it's always good. I mean, not always good. I mean, I guess I tell you guys when it's bad too, but it was good today. I mean, there was one class that was just bad, but I don't take like that kind of stuff to heart. Not unless like they're really, really bad, but like it was bad, but not, not like that bad, I don't know. It was just a lot of talking and you know, it, they weren't allowing the teacher to teach and whatever, but tomorrow's a new day, so it's fine. Anyway, I wanna show you guys my outfit. Um, and when I say fine, guys, like it's not fine that the kids are like disrespectful or whatever, like we're working on it, but at the same time, it's a new day. You can't do anything about it. You can't dwell on it or whatever anymore, so it's gonna be fine tomorrow. Anyway, here's my outfit. Wore long sleeves under this because I realized this morning that this is too short. So then I also wore a tank top as well, like a tank top dress. So I'm wearing long sleeves, a tank top dress, and then this white thing just to kind of, you know, make my outfit. And so it looks more like a dress thing and rather than just a shirt with leggings. Um, I put on a belt because it's cute. Um, leggings, which I realized I have a hole in somewhere on the side of my leg. Oh, right here. I don't know if you guys could see this little, little hole. Then I got a whole bunch of furry stuff on it. Didn't realize that my scarf is this furry. And I'm all furry now. And I just wore black boots with this outfit. I literally just walked in through my door not too long ago. But I see a letter in the mail from the Long Island a railroad, I think this is like my paycheck, or not a paycheck, because they're not paying me, but I guess my refund from when I lost my ticket and they refunding me um, everything that I paid for more tickets when I had a monthly ticket. So I'm still thankful that somebody uh, you know, returned all of my stuff back to me that I was even able to apply for the refund, because if I didn't get my monthly ticket back, they wouldn't have um, given me a refund. So I'm just opening this up because it looks like it's a refund. It looks like a little check in the mail. <laughs> I'm excited to get the money back, you know, because that was just so hard when I lost my wallet. Like there was nothing I could do about it, but it was it was just hard, you know, guys. Um, so let's see. <laughs> it is a check. Wait a second. This makes no sense. My check is literally for four dollars. I spent so much more on the Long Island Railroad, not just $4 worth. <laughs> so now I'm confused. I don't know why it's just $4. I really don't know. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay, I think I'll email somebody and figure that out. I mean, $4 is still better than nothing, but I should be getting back at least like $100 for my ticket. So this $4 is a a little bit upsetting, you know. I figured it out, guys. I was looking at my bank statements just now and I noticed one of my accounts is in the negative, which means that I was just refunded money um, after I paid like a whole bunch already and then I was like refunded, so now it's in the negative, but I could get that money back so they could like send me a check for that extra um, or whatever, but I'm just gonna keep it because I have some pending charges anyway. But I just noticed I have some Long Island Railroad refunds. I have three of them. And I guess it wasn't $100 that I spent. I thought it was. But I guess it was only like uh, $50. Because I just realized I did take that day off that week. Um, because I had my brother's wedding and stuff. So I have three refunds. One for $13.50. One for $9.75 which is why I got the check for $4 because then it ended up being a peak ticket and I had to pay four more dollars on the train. So that's that refund. And then $27, which was a ticket one way and back. So I guess I only had purchased for, I guess like two or so days-ish. I don't know. I felt like I had more, but I guess not. I mean, I saved all my tickets that I had, so I guess that was it. I really don't know. But um, yeah, so they ended up refund refunding me $50 and I see that on my account now. So yay, got some money back. So that is amazing. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm about to eat some Pad Thai leftovers. This is from Andre's sister leftovers. We had the same thing um, 
last week it was like what Wednesday I think sorry guys lights are off um, I think we had that we ordered the same thing I think it was on Wednesday and I ate my leftovers already and she didn't eat hers and if she doesn't eat her leftovers especially because it's shrimp after like one day she just doesn't eat it at all so I was like I'll take it I'm not afraid to have shrimp like a few days later like it's Monday we had it on Wednesday it's like what five days four days I don't even know but I am totally fine with eating it like five days later so I don't mind. Um, I am about to work on some activities for the kids to do tomorrow. I think I'm doing like a go fish activity um, with fractions and decimals and then something else just so they could get their practicing because they learned um, how to change fractions into decimals today. Um, and on top of that, I have all of these things that my employee made today. Um, so they're so cute. Um, I see she glued some of these together already, which is awesome, but she cut everything out, which is great. The antlers, um, these are all assembled as well, and then I had her make a couple of silver ones because I wanted to do an option for silver as well, and I think this is going to be so cute. I don't, I don't think I'll have time to assemble these today, but maybe tomorrow I'll actually get to these. Okay, guys, I've been working on this stuff for quite some time now. Um, I want to show you guys what I did get. I don't know why it keeps being zoomed in every time I talk to you guys again. But I made these I have who has cards. I was going to make something else, but these were a little quicker. And it's already 1040 and I should be in bed. But basically a kid is going to have this. They say I have 0.1 who has 7 tenths in a decimal. And then whoever has, what is that, 0.7 at that point. They say, I have 0.7, who has blah, 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 and it goes on and on. And I thought this one would be fun to do as like a whole class activity, but it's also fun, you know, with a couple, with like a group. But a whole class activity, everybody can participate and get one card and everyone has to pay attention and actually do it. I'm just making little labels that say, I have who has fractions and decimals to put on the other side of the card. Um, that way, if I ever have these in the future, like, you know, I know what card goes with what, and my plan is also to laminate these at one point. I don't have enough time to laminate these for tomorrow, but maybe after tomorrow's activity, I'll have some time to laminate them, and I just like making games for kids, and especially things that I could have, you know, for the following year and whatever, so I don't have to remake them. So that's what I'm doing. The other thing I made is like these go fish things, but they also could be matching cards. So on the back I made some stickers that say fractions and decimals and I just put them on here. But they could either play go fish, so I did include like a little border of like under the kind of sea kind of stuff, which I think is so cute. Um, and it's, you know, decimals and then you have some fractions as well. But they also could have faced them all down and then do like a matching game with these as well. So there's a couple of options for that. So either way, it's fun. And I'm just, you know, making the labels on for the I have who have who has cards, I guess. I really love those. I played them before um, when I student taught and it was just so much fun. The kids loved it and everything. And yeah, I totally want to laminate it. I'm a big fan of laminating pretty much everything. <laughs> I'm one of those teachers that laminates everything. It's just, it's so fun and, you know, it makes things last a really long time. I couldn't not laminate the cards, so I laminated them, cut them, and then the corners, I made them all rounded, otherwise they're so sharp and I don't like that, so um, yeah, 
I had to do it. I couldn't just let all my hard work go to waste with the kids ruin everything and I, you know, I don't want it to be like a one-time thing so I just, I seriously just had to laminate them. It was just something I really had to do. I couldn't even like wait one day of giving it to the kids and then laminating it because by that time, who knows how many of them would have been ruined already. Like, I don't want that. This little guy has been sleeping on my bed and we're about to go cuddles and sleep together. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye.